I've shown you how to install Windows 11. I've shown you what Windows 11 looks like. But today, I'm going to answer the most important question of all. Can Windows 11 game? Stay tuned to find out. Windows 11 sounds so weird to say. It's going to take some time to get used to. To start out with, I just want to say that I wasn't planning on doing any functionality videos on Windows 11. And honestly, the reason being is because we don't even know what Windows 11 is going to have in it. This is just a development copy. This isn't even a beta. So we don't even know what the finished product is actually going to look like. And this might be a complete and total waste of time. However, I did notice that this development copy is a lot faster than Windows 10. And it's probably because it's missing a lot of the bloatware that comes with Windows 10. However, I want to see how that actually translates into gaming. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to exaggerate the effect that the operating system has on gaming. So I turned the textures all the way down in the games that we tested in hopes to get this thing as CPU bound as possible. I want the GPU to not really be in the equation in this thing. I'm afraid that if the GPU is in the equation, then it's going to carry the games across both operating systems and we're not going to see that much of a difference. So by turning the textures all the way down, it doesn't stress the GPU as much and hopefully it'll bring the CPU up so we can kind of see the difference that the operating system makes to the in particular games themselves. So how do you think Windows 11 is going to perform when it's finally released? Do you think it's going to be an absolute gaming beast or do you think it's going to be a bloated mess? Sound off in the comments below and give me your opinion. I really want to know what you guys think. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Unless, of course, you hate me. Then you can hit the dislike button. And while you're there, they're right next to the subscribe button, which you should click as well. Now let's get to the benchmarks. So the first game we're looking at today is Black Mesa. This one was set to 1920 by 1080. And like I said before, I turned all of the graphic settings down to try to make this thing as CPU bound as possible. So we turn anti-aliasing off and we have it set all the way to low settings. In this benchmark, Windows 10 got an average FPS of 147.3 with a 1% low of 109.7. Windows 11, on the other hand, got an average FPS of 172 with a 1% low of 112.3. This game ran a lot better in Windows 11 than it did in Windows 10 with nothing else different other than just the operating system. Now Black Mesa is a very low resource intensive game because it's based on the Half-Life 2 engine. So we should expect really high frame rates on a capable system. And hopefully this right here will show the performance increase on older games with Windows 11. And there's definitely an increase in this case. Being this was the first test that I did, I was expecting to see similar results across the board. However, to find out, let's get into some of the other benchmarks and see how they did. The next benchmark we're gonna look at today is CSGO. This game was set to 1920 by 1080 and just like before we have anti-aliasing turned off and we have the settings turned all the way down to low to try to make this as CPU dependent as possible. In Windows 10 we got an average FPS of 213.8 with a 1% low of 111.4. In Windows 11, we got an average FPS of 224 with a 1% low of 108.3. This is nowhere near as big of an improvement as we saw in the last benchmark with Black Mesa. And also, the 1% low actually dropped from 111 to 108. And you know, this is kind of within margin of error. But we did gain some FPS on the high end with the average FPS going from 213 to 224. So there definitely is an improvement being that the only difference between these two tests is the operating system. So this benchmark also shows that there's definitely an improvement moving to Windows 11 for CSGO. The next game we're looking at is Grand Theft Auto V. 
As before, this one was set to 1920 by 1080 and the settings were turned as low as possible with anti-aliasing turned off so we can try to make this game as CPU bound as possible. Now these open world games are inherently CPU bound, however this didn't seem to translate into better performance in Windows 11. In Windows 10, we got an average FPS of 113.1 with a 1% low of 82.7. This seems like a great score. And to my dismay, in Windows 11, we scored an average FPS of 106 with a 1% low of 76.4. So in this game, we actually lost performance in Windows 11, which this one actually kind of blew me away and definitely shows that not all games are going to run better in Windows 11. However, the average FPS was really close going from 113 in Windows 10 to 106 in Windows 11, this is honestly well within margin of error, and I would consider this as running pretty much the same. However, it is a loss. The next game we're gonna look at today is Red Dead Redemption 2. And this one, unfortunately, I had to set the resolution down a little bit, and that's probably gonna affect our results in the end. I had to set this one to 1280 by 720, I did set the texture detail to favor performance, the absolute lowest setting. This is as low as I could possibly bring the graphics down in the game. And really, it didn't really affect it much. The GPU still stayed at 100% the entire time, and I was lucky to see 30% on the CPU. This one would have been better if I would have tested this game on a higher end GPU. Unfortunately, I had what I had with this one. And because of that, Windows 10 scored an average FPS of 34.8 with a 1% low of 28.3. And Windows 11 scored an average FPS of 33.9 with a 1% low of 27. So in reality, this one was less than one FPS difference between the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 test. I think that's due to the fact that I couldn't get this game to play at a higher resolution with the hardware that I'm doing this test on. So I don't know that this one right here is really a good test of the difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. I think this more is a shot against the hardware that I'm actually using to do the test on, being that the hardware I'm using honestly doesn't even meet the system requirements for this specific game. So I think ultimately the test results we got in the other benchmarks are more accurate to what we can expect between the difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. However, I wanted to include this one in there anyway, just to show that your hardware may have a lot to do with what your gaming performance is gonna look like between Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you have older hardware, you might not see as big of an improvement on newer games. So, is Windows 11 good for gaming? Well, yeah, and at the same time, no. Honestly, why don't you share in the comments what you think? Do you think Windows 11 is gonna be better for gaming? Or do you think it's gonna be a potato? Until a release candidate comes out for Windows 11, we still don't even know what Windows 11 in its final form is gonna look like. This one is really fast. The development copy is definitely impressive. And it actually did give us some improvements in a few games. So if this is what actually comes out, then yeah, I think Windows 11 is gonna be great for gaming. But if Microsoft loads it down with their bloatware, then, I don't know, we're gonna have to wait and find out. But once that does happen, we're gonna have to go through and test the release candidate to see how it compares with the development copy we have now. Who knows, it might be the best thing to ever happen to gaming, or it might crash and burn. <laughs> If this video was helpful to you, then please like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.